Hi everyone, it's time for our story. We've been talking a lot about homes and houses and buildings. And um, so we have this great book today. It's called Home. And it's all different kinds of homes. Um, homes that people live in, homes that animals live in. Some are real, some are make-believe. Um, this book is written by a gentleman named Carson Ellis. So he's the author of the book. And this is kind of interesting. Usually books have an author, which is someone who writes the words, and an illustrator, which is someone who drew the pictures. Well, in this case, Carson Ellis is the author and the illustrator. He wrote the words and drew the pictures. That's kind of unusual. So good on you, Carson. Good job. So this book is called Home, and it starts off right here with a bird, and look what's on this page, a nest, which is a bird's home, right? Home is a house in the country. Oh, we talked about this yesterday. Look at their house. There's no neighbors around. There's some people who live so far out in the country, they can't even see their neighbors. I can look out my window right there and see my neighbor's house, but some people, if you're out in the country, you can't. You can't see your neighbor's house. You're too far away. Or home is an apartment. And here's a little girl. Looks like she lives maybe on the top floor of an apartment building in a big city. Looks like lots of other families probably live in that same building. Some homes are boats. Did you know some people live on boats? Some homes are wigwams. Looks like some people... Uh, they're, they're making their home out of things that they find in nature. Some homes are palaces or underground lairs or shoes. This looks like that old woman who lives in this shoe. Have you heard that, that story before? Do you think that's real or make-believe? Can you live in a shoe? I don't think so. <laughs> that one's make-believe, I think. French people live in French homes. This looks uh, kind of like the style of a house you would see in France, maybe out in the countryside. And Atlanteans make their home underwater. Wait a minute. Can people live underwater? I think that one's make-believe. <laughs> Some folks live on the road. So these people look like Maybe they're in a band. Here's a guy with a guitar. That guy looks like he's holding a keyboard. That's maybe an amplifier. And it looks like they just got done doing a concert. And so they're packing up and they're getting on their bus. They're gonna live on their bus while their bus takes them to the next city. And then they'll do another concert. So they kind of live as they go from city to city. Clean homes. Messy homes, tall homes, short homes. That one's so little, I have to make sure you see it. Sea homes. Is that one make-believe? That might be make-believe. Bee homes and hollow tree homes. Now, wait a minute. That looks like a, a rat or something, and he's wearing clothes and carrying a cane. Hmm. That one might be make-believe. But whose home is this? Look at that, way up on a cliff. Oh, you would wanna be careful when you came out of your door if you lived there. And what about this? This looks like a tiny fairy home because look, the flowers are bigger than the house. And this looks like it's supposed to be a mushroom maybe. And there's a snail on top. Oh, that looks like it's supposed to be a big Bird. The more I look at this picture, the more things I see. Here's a little mole. Here's some flowers. They have a teacup as part of their house. Part of It looks like maybe it's supposed to be their roof or something. So that one looks like it's supposed to be maybe a tiny fairy house, which could be make-believe too, probably. <laughs> and who lives here and why? They look like they live in outer space, don't they? Look, they have that dome all covered up so they can breathe. Remember, you can't just breathe in outer space. You'd need a special suit or a special dome. There's some planets back there. Wow, 
Now that's, that's make believe, but maybe someday people will live on other planets. This is the home of a Slovakian duchess, sort of like a princess, sort of. This is the home of a Kenyan blacksmith. This is the home of a Japanese businessman. So homes all over the world can look so different. This is the home of a Norse god. So he looks like maybe he was somebody from a, a story from long ago they used to use to explain things and different things in nature. A babushka lives here. A babushka is like a grandma. A moonian lives here. That one might be make-believe. It looks like somebody lives on the moon and look, they're having a cup of coffee and gazing up at the earth. <laughs> that might be make-believe. A raccoon lives here. So animals have homes too. An artist lives here. Hmm. Now that I look, I think this is supposed to be Carson Ellis, the man who made the pictures and wrote the words, and look at all the things in his home. They kind of remind me of the things that were in the story. Look, here's that, hold it up close, sea home there. There's a mermaid. There's, um, this I think was in one of the homes. There's a ship. Um, oh, there's the shoe right there. So he looked at all those different things that were all around him in his room. And he, it looks like he used all those in his pictures to imagine different people's homes. This looks like the bird that was in the beginning, right? I'm not sure that might be his window and he's seeing the bird out the window. Let's see, is that the bird? Yep, there it is. There it is. This is my home. And this is me. Yep, that was the window, because there's the bird. Where is your home and where are you? All different kinds of homes. Maybe take a walk today around your neighborhood and look at the different kinds of houses. And as you're driving around, if mommy or daddy or grandma or grandpa or whoever's watching you today, if they take you for a ride, look at all the different kinds of homes there are. Even just in our city, there's different kinds of, there's apartments, there's big homes, there's little homes, ones made out of bricks, ones that are covered in stucco or siding, all different kinds of homes, and even animal homes. Sometimes you can see, uh, even in your yard, you can see like where a bird nest might be or a squirrel nest. You might find a place where a bunny lives, or I know last year in our uh, breezeway, we had a toad living there. We never really could find his home, but um, look around for all the different kinds of homes. And I would love to hear what you find. So I will see you in a little bit with um, an activity to do today. See you later, bye.